Hi, I'm Elias Gwynn. I'm an applications engineer with Benchmark Media Systems in an exclusive video for Audio Advisor. And today I'm talking about the DAC1 HDR. The DAC1 HDR is Benchmark's newest, latest two channel D to A converter. It features six total stereo inputs, three coaxial 75 ohm digital inputs, optical toss link input. USB input, 9624 capability. The rest of them have 192 kilohertz 24 bit capability. And analog inputs, unbalanced stereo analog inputs. The outputs include unbalanced analog outputs and balanced analog outputs. The DAC1 HDR features are a true analog volume control using a custom built. Alps potent motorized potentiometer. This potentiometer is an extremely well built potentiometer. Alps custom built for this product. The, the new potentiometer is part of our high dynamic range volume control circuit, which maintains dynamic range because it's a true analog volume control after conversion versus a digital volume control, which will actually limit and reduce your dynamic range and signal to noise ratio. The volume control controls the balanced outputs and the unbalanced outputs and the headphone amplifier uh, when in variable mode. Uh, when in calibrated mode, it only controls the headphone amplifier and the, the other two main analog outputs are fixed. So you, don't, you can use this with a preamplifier or you can use it without. The DAC1 HCR features an internal toroidal transformer uh, power supply which is low radiation transformer um, and it's also an international power supply so that if you travel abroad you can simply reverse the fuse in the fuse drawer and, it's, and then it will be compatible with 220 volt systems. This switch controls the output mode. This is what determines whether or not the front panel volume control is active or not. In calibrated mode, it is disabled so that it's a fixed level output. And in variable mode, it is active so that you can control the volume of the output. The DAC1 HDR features our upgraded RCA connectors. The RCA connectors are chassis mounted, so they're extremely rigid, structurally rigid, and structurally sound. They're gold plated connectors with Teflon insulation. The converter inside the DAC1 HDR is a 192 kilohertz 24-bit capable converter um, and it is made absolutely immune to jitter thanks to our proprietary clocking system called UltraLock. UltraLock completely removes the clock from the incoming digital signal and the way it works is that it takes the samples, the digital samples from the source and it puts it into a buffer and the buffer holds those samples, which means the clock is no re longer relevant because the samples are just sitting there waiting to be, to be taken out. But they're taken out using an internal clock. And this internal clock is millimeters away from the DAC chip itself. So that way it's got very, very low jitter. It's got very little distance to travel. And so it pulls the samples out one at a time using the internal clock, which gives the best, lowest jitter performance possible. The DAC1 HDR features our advanced USB input for connecting to the USB of a computer for computer playback. The advanced USB input is capable of 9624 streams. Um, it is completely bit transparent up to 9624. So even if you're playing high res 9624 audio, it's going to be a completely transparent path from the computer to the DAC itself. The advanced USB interface requires no custom drivers. It's based on a native driver, so it's the drivers that are built into your operating system. So there's no installations required and there's no concerns about compatibility. It is immediately compatible. The advanced USB input on this device has a 24-bit path, which is very important because if, even if you're listening to 16-bit audio, if the audio is at all processed by the computer, um, 
the, the resulting word length can increase beyond 16-bit. It typically will increase beyond 16-bit. Um, and what happens is if, if you try to send a, an audio word longer than 16-bit into a 16-bit path, that truncates the flat, it truncates all the data below 16 bits. And that causes what's called truncation distortion, which is a very unflattering distortion. The analog circuitry of the DAC1 HDR is 500 kilohertz bandwidth. And that's very important because ultrasonic frequencies can be distorted if it's got a lower, if you have a lower analog bandwidth. And when, when these distortions occur, they get folded back into the audio band. And that will cause a lot of random tones to be in the, in the actual audio band that is, not that, that is not sympathetic to the tone of the music. And so it's not a good sounding distortion. The remote control feature of the DAC1 HDR is a very clever Im implementation of remote control. Not only do you have your typical features like off and on, uh, the off is actually instantaneously mute and then on a second press it actually turns it off. So it's just an instantaneous mute at first. Uh, and then also there's obviously your input selection. Um, the flashing indicates that there's no source currently connected to it. So it's going to tell us the whole way across that, that there's nothing connected. Um, and then the uh, volume control, this is the, this is the funnest aspect of this remote control. The volume control is a motorized potentiometer. So it maintains the true volume, uh, true analog volume control to maintain your high dynamic range. I'm Elias Gwynn with Benchmark Media Systems. This has been an exclusive video for Audio Advisor.